Hello everybody, welcome back, welcome back. Serious Sim Flying here. I've been working my little butt off trying to get a hold of that Cessna C172 panel. I've got the avionics panel almost done. Just waiting on a couple switches and that should be good to go soon. So stay tuned for that. Just gotta mount the LED here. I've got an on off on switch here. And then I've gotta swap this one out for an on off on. That one will be good to go. So stay tuned for that. One thing that I did finish up Maybe minus some painting and a little bit of uh, tweaks here, but for the most part it's done. I'm going to start using it. it. Is my throttle mixture setup. So this one I went a little bit of a different route than what I had been seeing online. Uh, I borrowed some 3D printing or 3D printed files so I could make like the knobs and stuff like that. Um, I created the rods and the faceplate myself. Um, nothing fancy. It's pretty straightforward. Got a plate. I super glued it to uh, an acrylic plate that I found at the dollar store that just so happened to be the same dimensions with what I was working with. I've got two slide potentiometers and then I'm using a USB encoder. I found a very, very helpful article on Instructables and also on a fine gentleman that goes by Beckel Farm. He's got a great blog and they were both showing us how we can use potentiometers with these USB encoders. So I'll put a link to that article. I'm not going to really go through and explain how it's done. It's pretty straightforward. Um, it does require some soldering. Um, it does require some, well, I guess you could say advanced hacking with electronics, but like I said, it's pretty straightforward. Um, they did a very good job in the write-up. I was able to follow it. This whole project probably took me, I would say maybe a day. Um, that's printing the files, assembling, um, modifying the USB encoder and then getting it set up. So it's pretty straightforward, something you can get taken care of on a Saturday. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fire up X-Plane and I'll show you guys this in action. And while this is loading up, we will just kind of take a look what we got here. So um, setup was really easy too. So like I said, I've got the two 10K potentiometers, slide potentiometers. Those are fixed by these little arms here that attach to the sliders. And then I gotta reprint this in red and then attach the button. And that's pretty much it. There's not too much else left to do. So let's go ahead and hop in. Let me plug this in. Oh, um, one thing to note is there's a couple different options and I believe they're both gone over, but you can use a jumper. Um, I'm not sure if you can see it. So I've got a blue jumper here and this puts it into the analog mode so that I can actually use the potentiometers. You can also attach a button to where you can switch between them just by pressing the button. But I thought it'd be easier to just um, put the jumper in place and that way I don't have to worry about it um, booting and switching between digital and analog and so on and so forth. So um, I figured I'd just set it to how I was going to be using it, and then I could just kind of go from there. So it should be just a few more seconds, and then I think we'll be in the plane. All right. So you can probably already hear all this in action. Now it's going to be a little tricky. I'm going to try to see if I can figure out a way to show you both the controls at the same time so you can kind of see them working. Just have to move around a few things. Okay, now... Alright, so we've got our throttle. And we got our mixture. Yeah, worked out pretty good. It's pretty easy. I was, uh, like I said, it took me maybe a, maybe pick a Saturday. You could have it done yourself. But if you guys have any questions, definitely feel free to ask. I will have links to everything that I used, everything that I referenced, um, everything that I used to get this together. I'll make sure to put it all together for y'all. But uh, that's going to be all for me today. 
hope everybody enjoyed. As always, happy fire.